Did you lock the door? Yes. I'll wait for you downstairs. Hey. Yes, what is it? What's your problem? If you keep calling me like this, I'll put an end to this. What is all this? I've told you to stop calling me. If I want to see you, I'll call you. Rubbish. This looks yummy. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm coming. All right. For how many minutes now? What are you feeding your eyes with? You must you see everything? Do you have to see everything? Uh, eh? Anyway, since we're having new neighbors, some persons have been moving in things since noon. Is that why your face is like this? Uh -huh. I asked you to pay for that flat. You said you, it was too expensive. Now your, your, your mates have paid for it. How do you expect me to look at them? I should be smiling. Look at it anyhow you want to look at it, Cleopatra. You are never satisfied. Were you not the one who suggested I will put selling in that expensive school? Huh? Oh, is that it? So I am not satisfied, eh? If I go to own up to the fact that you could not fulfill your duties as a man, yes, I am not satisfied. Eh? Those children in the same school we selling, how many uh, balls does that father have? Seven. How many balls does a man have? Ask me how many balls does he have? Please, 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 let me enjoy my meal. I can see you're not happy except this. So, I'm not eating this food. If, if you try it with me, eh? If you try it... This is my food. I will let you... I, I am... I will show you I also have seven balls. Leave this food. 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 Let me, let me just reverse so that they can go back inside. Eh? Re what? Reverse. Re, re, reverse where? You want to go where? Who opened the gate? I knew you had to open the gate. Who opened the gate? The one, but let me just go back. So don't, don't, don't even try it. Yes. She should. Who? Oh, he. He should go back. 
Go back! Go back! Let him go back. Ah! Babe, see, see this place, there's no space there. Oh, why do you like falling my hand? I mean, this is not falling your hand. It's just to go back so that they can enter. It's simple. It's just simple. My friend, go back! Reverse! Who opened the gate? Was nobody opened it? I was the one who opened it. I was the one who opened the gate. And she wants to drive in. For what? Rubbish. My friend, keep going. annoying new neighbors. And what about them? Honey, from the way I see them, they are not happy as a couple. And how would you know that? You can't just conclude like that. Because I'm a woman. And I can yeah. tell when another woman is in pains. That woman is in pains. See those pains though? Wait. You have not had a close encounter with them and you know that she is in pain. Are you sure you are not hiding pains and secrets from me? Why would you say a thing like that? Because it is only a woman that has mastered the art of hiding pains that can tell that another woman is doing the same. No, I'm not hiding pains from you. I'm not doing anything. So you think I'm hiding pains from you? Um, anyways, um... That's what you're saying? I think that man is cheating on the wife. Mm. Mm hmm Really? Yes. Wait a minute. Are you cheating on me? Me? Are they Chris? Upon all the things in this world, cheating? Ah, baby, Mba. No, 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 I can't do that. Because it's only a man that has mastered the art of cheating that will know another man is cheating on his wife. I'm quoting you to you. So you're using my words against me? Mm-hmm. Yes. Says the man who knows the signs of infidelity. Anyway. I don't want to allow those stupid, hungry, pompous beans. I don't want them to spoil my mood. Where are you going? You're this girl. You're a very stubborn girl. You're this boy. You're a very stubborn boy. You see the way you're responding to me right now? It, 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 it makes my waist vibrate. It ignites the fire inside me and it makes hey, me angry. Let's get water, water, get water, 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 for water. water. Quench the fire. This is the fire I'm talking about. This is the fire I'm talking about. This is the fire I'm talking about. Which water? Well, we are still trying to get her into a new school. We have seen some affordable ones, but her former school is much more expensive. Well, yes, um, my brother-in-law, Max, he suggested a new school for me. Let's just say that my one month salary can suffice it. <laughs> yeah, yes. Um, uh, I think what I'll do is that I would go there today. 
if the taste meets that of I and my husband, then what am I waiting for? I would pay for it. <laughs> you know how it is with moving to a new place and all that. Right? <laughs> You needed to see the way she was talking, as if her salary is up to 500,000. No, let her take her child to selling school. Let's see if her one month salary can afford his school uniform. Nonsense. What rubbish. Honey, I am glad selling is in that school. At least with that, she will know we're not her class. We are both them. You know, I don't see why you are angry. The both of you have nothing in common. You were way prettier than her. Look at your assets. If you pass it right now, you know your body can confuse two men who are having a serious conversation. You should calm down. What you, I want you to do right now is just come and give me a good hand job. Eh? Mm -hmm. Stop ranting and talking about all those people. She's not rich, I know. <laughs> hey, you I see know. what I'm talking about? This is what I've been waiting for since they are talking about. Ah, you want to go? <laughs> Honey? Babe? Yeah? I want to see the school her so-called daughter will be attending. You know she said Monday. And today is Monday. I will stand here and see the school she put her daughter. She thinks we pay peanuts. Rubbish. Today, I will see it. No sense. I don't know why she's so proud. What does she have? What? Stupidly proud. I will stand here today to see the school she put her. Honey? Honey? Yeah. Where's your khaki? Uh, it's downstairs. Downstairs where? I look on the dining table. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Why do you ask? Babe? Babe, are you okay? So, this is technically how the place looks like. Can you see it? That's my neighbor. She occupies the other flat. Really? Well, I don't know anything about her, but I think she is. Really? I haven't noticed anything like that. Hold on, let me call you back.
Zito is not the kind of girl to get into trouble with someone. That girl must have started it. Let me get into bed. Just take it easy. They are just minor bruises. It's not just the bruises. She twisted her wrist. I mean, I can't be dealing with her mother's trouble and her daughter would be busy dishing her to my child. You better want her. Want her because if she dares me, she would be surprised what I will unleash on her. It's okay, honey. Don't stress yourself much, all right? We're going to sort that out tomorrow. I don't know why people would just pick quarrel with someone for no reasons. He's just a kid. Did you see what he did to my daughter? No, did you see Selin's body? He designed her body! Maybe Selin must have provoked him. What are you saying? No, maybe you understand. What are you saying? Are you trying to say that my own daughter is a troublemaker? No, that's what you mean! That, that's not what that I mean. That she instigated it and deserved whatever he did to her. Honey, that is not what I'm saying. So what are you saying? What I'm saying is you should calm down and that tomorrow we'll go there and sort things out. <laughs> I know what to do. I will take my daughter away from that school. Honey, it has, not, got, it has not gotten to that. What not? It has. It has. Ah! Wait. Who does think she is? Wait, wait, you? wait. I hope all these things that you're doing is not an avenue that you will not give my bedtime food tonight. Because I must eat tonight, too. <laughs> me, whether you provoke or not, you must give me food. I don't understand. It's like you're not seeing my mood. You don't understand this mood. Which mood? I am not in. The Honey, you have to be in the mood. Mm. Mm. Okay. What do you want to eat? Rice or beans? Which one? <laughs> Mix it together. Yeah, rice and beans mixture. <laughs> Baby, calm down. I am not in the mood. Down, that man is dead me. You're always in the mood. I am not in the mood. I, I, I am not do that to me. Leave me alone. Oh, I can't leave you now. Rice and beans. You know how you did that? Eh? Do what? You're not this smart for me. Do mm. what? Mix it for me. Oh, then leave me. Uh-uh. You see the vex? I'm not in the mood tonight. Oh, you're welcome. <coughs> Thank you. Mr. Ozo, my name. What's in the Costa? You're welcome. Nice you're welcome. welcome. Hello. Yeah, Hi, hello. madam. How are you? Such a kid. How are you? Hi, Hi. Hello. Hi. You guys welcome. are welcome. Please have a seat. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. You should have raised her well. Oh, I did. You should have raised your daughter better. Hello, honey. I thought we talked about this. I'm so sorry, my love. But this trash here who thinks she can walk on people needs to be educated. Hey! <laughs> See who wants to educate me? How do you intend doing that when you have completely failed as a mother? Don't you dare. Enough! Enough. Zito, to your room. I am really sorry. We actually just came here to talk things out. But that's not the impression your wife here is sending. She's ready to raise down the walls of my house. My wife is just angry because your daughter left bruises at the back of my child. Take a look. Zita did that to you. Oh yes, yeah, she did. And now you can see why I'm mad at that rascal you call a daughter. Oh, please don't call my daughter a rascal. Don't refer to her as that. What, what is your problem? Eh? This woman, what is your problem? There are so many schools around. Why didn't you take her there? Must it be the woman that attends? A school you cannot even afford. Oh yes! Hold but on. because you want to show off your little self. Hold on. That cheap school? You know, you just gave me a reason to change her to Premier Heights Academy by next term. What? Yes. She has to manage this term. I already paid for their firm. Next term. Yeah. I thought you said 
you are not a happy couple. They look so happy. Come on, honey, you wanted to tell me something. <coughs> What's that? Honey, I'm coughing. Honey, stop acting up. Stop that. You and I know you wanted to tell me something. I know that look. Talk to me. Okay, fine. I have been trying so hard to tolerate that woman out there. We shouldn't have let them in in the first place. And now she's in. All I need you to do is to be calm. Learn to tolerate her excesses. Can you do that for me? You can't stoop so low to her level. You can't. Can you just imagine that, that little woman? Bragging, making mouth, and I'm going to put my, my, my dada in prayer high school. Poor girl. But she's taking their child there. How do you know? What is your problem now? She just now? wants me to feel little. She is broke, I can say it. I know. How is she broke? She doesn't have money. Smart. She just she just wants to feel like she's she's rich, she can afford it. Rubbish! Relax. Next time I'm ready to take my time hey, to listen. Relax. You're in somebody's house. You can't be talking like that. Ah, please, I'm to talk. I'm to talk. Ah, what's wrong with you? Let me show this chair original. Oh. Oh, honey. Huh? I think I have a headache. You have a headache? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <sighs> sorry. Oh. Is she all right? Uh, yeah, she's fine. And how, how is she doing? Yeah, she's much better now. Thank oh, you. that's good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Um. So, how did you guys meet? What? Oh, um, I mean, for how long have you guys been married? Like 15 years now. What? Yeah, we met in the university days. Then after five years of graduation, we got married. Now we have three kids. Three kids? Yes, you heard him. Three kids. The other two are overseas. While Zetel is here with us. You don't mean it. Oh yeah, you know. Hold on. Is selling your only child? Yes, she is. And that's because Will, Sin and I are not ready to have more kids. I see. Mm. Why don't you give him another child? I mean, he's not getting any younger. Uh, and neither are you. Uh, uh, Mirado, whatever they call you, I think we're done with whatever we came here to do. So please, we'll take our leave. Honey, mm? let's go, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. And our daughter is in there. Okay. Yeah. Selling! Hey, you don't have to yell like that. You know children on their way. She must be in there with Zelia. Come on, man. <laughs> Honey, please sit down. Hmm? Wait for me. Sit down. Uh -huh. Please, don't break anything. Mm. Hello? Gina and Gerald, how, how are you? And your mother? No, 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 I, I told you guys that I can't come and see you this month. Gina, don't talk like that. Daddy loves you so much and he's working so hard here. I know you guys want to come to Lagos, but not this holiday, okay, the, the next one. Say hello to your mother for me. I love you guys. I have to go, okay? Bye. Bye. Did you hear anything? Maybe. Maybe what? Do you have kids elsewhere? Says who? <laughs> From the mouth to the ear. Cheating? Well, yes. I met her eight years ago in Calabar. We had sex and she, she got pregnant. She gave birth to twins. Her name is Loretta. <clears throat> Man has come indeed. Aren't we all? Well, 
Does your wife know about her? What? That is suicide mission if Cleopatra should find out. That lady is mean. No woman would be happy, you know, knowing that her husband has a concubine. So why have other kids when you have a daughter? She's not my daughter. What did you just say? You hurt me. Listen, when I met Cleo, she already had a child. She already had that girl. We are both medically okay, but I don't know why babies are not forthcoming. I don't know what's going on. Hey! This story long ago. Guy, please. I don't know you, but I'm telling you all these in confidence. Well, you cannot go wrong on the kindness of strangers anyway. So, how did you get this car? Excuse me? You know, that scar was common amongst Bini girls. The ones they call Ron's girls. You know, those ones that were so desperate to travel out of the country. <laughs> Emerald, I grew up in Port Harcourt. Mm. As a matter of fact, I've never been to Benin. I see. I got this car after my friend and I were attacked on our way back from school as undergraduates. What school was that? I can see that both of you are finally getting along. It's really nice. Yes, I was actually asking your wife how she got the scar on her hand oh. and her neck. She said she got that when she was an undergraduate in OAU. Really? Yeah. She went to Ife? Wow, that's nice. My husband and I actually graduated from Ife. Oh, yes. Honey, can you imagine? She's also <laughs> an alumni. So you graduated what year? 2002. Oh. That's not been so long. You know what? I and my husband graduated in 1998. Anyways, tell me, what how did you stay? What course did you study? And who was your VC when you graduated? Honey? You should be able to say things about your school you graduated from. I graduated from Unilag, and trust me, I know all the joints, all the popular girls' hostels. Right. <laughs> right. You're so crazy, man. Honey, say something. Babe. I did not graduate from OAU. What? I failed jam twice after my second trial. I went to stay with my cousins. As a matter of fact, I lived with them. I lied to my mother I had gotten admission into the university because I wanted her to be happy. I wanted her to be proud of her daughter. Oh my God. Cleo, tell me this is a prank. Tell me that this is a lie. It's true, Will. I'm sorry. <clears throat> a little. Are you sure that's the only thing you're sorry about? Or are you still hiding something from your husband? What did you just call her? A little. Mm. Okay. Uh, bye bye, yeah? See what followed you. Away. Alero! 
O Saloba. Alero. Ah ah. Alero. Now you be this. Who are you? Ah ah. Now me take her now. For be me. Up for be me now. That year. Alero. Excuse me, my name is Cleopatra. I am not any Alero. Alero, I'm... Don't you dare touch me. Is that how you go about calling people names? I think I'll be this old. My friend, get out of my gate. Alero. I think I'll be this old. Alero. You're a crazy woman. Not me, oh. You go about calling people names, stupid Alero. names. Rubbish. Level don't change now. Honey, who was that? I don't even know. I heard her call you Alero. Exactly where I was pissed. Do I look like any Alero? Maybe you look like somebody she knows. You should have just told her that you're not Alero. That's it. You know what? I don't talk about her because I'm pretty mad at the way she blasted me at the gate. Honey, you're oh, not supposed to be angry about this. You should have just explained yourself that you are sense. not Alero. Can you imagine? Alero, Alero. It's eh? okay. If but... Alessa should have entered my compound. Do you know she has, she's gone, no? Oh. Crazy woman. Eh? This girl has gone. You are still shouting. Mad people going, uh, go, go, walking up and down. Hey, calling people names. Alero. <laughs> the other day, a lady called you Alero and you clearly denied it. Today is this woman. What is your name? My name is Cleo. I said, what is your real name? My name is Alero Ibinabo. What? What was I supposed to do? Is that how you got the scar? I mean the one on your neck. You and I know is not the story you've been spreading up and down about being attacked on your way back from lecture with a friend. I was new in town and had nowhere to pass the night. Out in the cold, I met a lady who turned out to be a very good friend. She later told me about her plans to travel out of the country. Her proposal was too good to be true. I fell for it, but I guess I was naive because I later realized it was human trafficking. My friend used me as bait. I only realized that when I was forced to be branded as someone's property, I trusted her, but shut her. Just shut your mouth. You and I know that this story is a cooked one. You don't have any friend because you have not mentioned her name. I do, and her name is... Coxie. Coxie Edit. How did you know that name? I know, because she is my sister. She wanted to see the woman that has become a pain in my ass. Unfortunately, I mean fortunately, it was the class of woman that pitched herself as a queen. Trash. Me. What do you intend to achieve? 
Come on. What are you doing? I don't understand. What am I doing? Destroying their marriage. Look at how you made her cry. That young girl has gone through a lot. Baby, don't touch me. Behave yourself. Baby. We said no secrets. I am not sure of who I'm married to anymore. All you women are the same. Liars. Unfaithful bunch. Serpents. I was only trying to protect our marriage. Screw you and screw this sham god marriage. Mr. Da Costa, take it easy. Don't tell me to take it easy. I bet you've never had a wife that has kept secrets from you. You're hurting and I understand. We all do. But I personally think you should take it easy. Stay out of my business. And you, I am done with this marriage. Oh, please, you can't do this. Now. Then watch me. Mr. Lacosta, don't you think we all have secrets? Don't you dare. Does your wife know you have two kids? Twins, a boy and a girl. Don't you dare lay a finger on my husband. And you, I told you not to let them in, but you wouldn't listen. <sighs> um, come on, bro. I didn't mean to, you know, I didn't mean to spill that. I'm sorry. Cleopatra, I, I am sorry. Alero, my name is Alero. How long? Cleo, sing. Don't touch me. How long has this been going on? Eight years. Eight freaking years? Honey, I know I messed up and I lied. But this is something we can talk don't, about. Don't touch me. <laughs> don't. When were you gonna tell me, you freaking crossdresser? <laughs> so your wife is even aware of how much of a pervert you are. Oh, shut up. Shut up, you little dirty pig. What? Yes, you heard me right. You think we're not aware of how you wear one underwear for weeks without washing it? Hey. Uzo. What? How could you? How could I what? How could you have the nerve to tell an outsider about my private life? Are you listening to them? I didn't tell Just them anything! Sh shut up! I kept your own dirty little secret. Amy! Can you tell them about mine? <laughs> okay. <laughs> How about I tell them that my lovely husband... Bad words. Hey! Baby, I don't like it. I don't like it when I have to remind you every time about signing this mattress. For God's sake, what will it cost you? Just look at this man. Who else do you expect to sum them for you? 
when you were bedwetting, you didn't think it would be shameful taking the mattress outside? Please, just take this thing outside because I can't even stand the smell. Atokam, um, sorry, I didn't mean for it to come out that way. I overheard you guys the last time. And I've, I've been thinking to myself, how can a full grown man bed wet? Or oh, maybe I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't hear you guys properly. Oh yes, you heard right. Are you married to a full grown, shameless bed wetter? Hey, um, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to. You see, when I was six, my brother and elder sister stopped bedwetting. I was asked to sleep on the mat laid on the floor because I bedwet. I thought it was going to stop, but hell no. At 10, I got admission into the boarding school where my elder sister attends. But I couldn't go because I didn't want any form of embarrassment. At 17, I got admission into the university. I had to go. The best my parents could do for me was to get me an apartment off campus because I needed my privacy. No one visited me except my younger brother who later joined me and became my roommate. Well, I dated a couple of pretty girls who came visiting, spent the night in my house and woke up in the morning to the fact that I bed wet. Some made jest of me, some told their friends, while some kept it to themselves. I met Emerald. On our first date, I, I told her everything, you know, which I could have done to other girls and saved myself all those heartbreaks. Wow. All these girls she dated left. <laughs> you must be really packing for her to ignore that. Yo, when I said hitting every girl, that excludes my wife, you know. If you and your husband hadn't come here, all this wouldn't have happened. Oh, please, don't even go there. When you were running your mouth like a loose tap, you didn't know it was your family reputation you were dragging through the mud. As if you have any left. Really? I do, darling. Unlike you. You decided to humiliate me, Alero. Cox, you know, tell you, see, Alero don't see everything waiting for streets. You need to leave. Oh yes. For the sake of peace, I'll leave. But the next time that daughter of yours decides to lay as little as her dirty finger on my princess, I will teach you both a lesson you will never forget in your life. Get out of my house. Come on. Are you thinking of hitting my wife? Why would I do that? Come on, man. <laughs> I am warning you, man, I'm two weeks, one pant. If your hand touch me, I'll go beat you black and blue. I said you should leave. Not touch leave. me! Just and if I touch you, what would you do? Oh, try. What would you do if I... Touch you. you enough, 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 enough. 
We've all had a field day. Mr. Acosta, it is time for you and your wife to leave my house. Exodus. Leave. Move. Ah! Can you imagine? Honey, Sharon just sent a message. She says she's been trying to reach you. My phone! Where are you going? To get it, obviously. Babe, listen, hey. Hi. <sighs> Mrs. Da Costa, what is it again? Have you found it? Shameless whore. What did you just call me? Whoa, 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 baby. Please, let it go. Did you call me a shameless whore? Yes. Oh, God help me. Because if I unleash violence on you, hell will reject you. Baby, please, let's go. Please, please. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. Did you not say Coxie is your younger sister? <laughs> Coxie and her loud mouth. He must be Emmy. I mean, Emerald. What a small world. Does your husband know why you sent your younger sister abroad? Or rather, why you always travel out to bet your kids? Aleru, get out of oh my house. Oh, no, baby girl. He deserves to know the truth just like mine. Tell him you are away that he's been sleeping with your younger sister. Tell him, baby girl. <clears throat> what are you talking about? <laughs> Don't worry, darling. Coxie told me everything. <clears throat> um. Uh, darling, I can explain. Oh, dumb and stupid! Explain what? The fact that your barren wife here paid her younger sister to come seduce you. <clears throat> I don't understand. You knew I was sleeping with Coxie? And, and wait a minute. Did you just say she's barren? I mean, you, you, did, did, did she just say you are yes, barren? Yes, you heard me right. You heard me clearly. Coxie told me that her sister could not conceive as a result of an abortion she heard when she was 16. No, no, not just that. She begged her sister to come seduce you and pretended not to be aware. Uh, is she saying you're not the biological mother of my kids? Oh, God! He was such a dumbass! Do you need a revelation from God, honey? Does he need that? Answer me! Yeah. Hey! But they're my kids. Our kids. Shut up! Shut up! Hey! 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 Don't touch me! Don't you ever touch me! You irritate me so much! Hmm. 
<sighs> hey, don't touch me. What is wrong with you? I told you to let things be. Honey, but I came to pick up my phone right in your presence. Is that insulting me? I told you to let me get the phone, but you insisted. So I should keep quiet. No, I should keep quiet while she insults me. Shut up! Please, you can't leave. You can't just leave our marriage like that. What marriage? No, tell me, which marriage? That woman out there, a, a little or whatever you call her, is right. This marriage is based on deceit and lies. That woman is a mad dog. Yet she made me know who the real mother of my kid is. Honey, please. Let's, let's talk about this. We can't talk about any shit. Osoma, you're a good man. I didn't want to lose you. I did what every woman in my shoes would have done. You had an abortion at 16, which resulted in you having medical complications. And you couldn't deem it necessary to tell me. What nonsense is that? No, tell me. I didn't know how to tell you. Besides, the doctor said my chances of getting pregnant were slim. Oh. Wait a minute. So all those while you were collecting money from me for abortion, you were never pregnant. No, tell me! You were never pregnant. No. Hey! Holy matrimony. Oh, please don't even go there. Because I don't, I don't, I don't. Alero! Alero! You came into my house to destroy a marriage I've worked so hard to build. Does your own husband know that you had an abortion few days to your wedding for his friend, his best man? Well, he's away now. And you know what? He can leave for all I care. After all, he has kids with another woman. <laughs> Coxie. Coxie and her big mouth. She must have really fed you enough. But why? Why are you doing this? You started at first. You wanted to shame me in the presence of my husband by asking me how I got the scar. And for the asking if I ever graduated. Remember? I guess you still have a lot to say. Or have you exhausted your cards? Oh no. On the contrary. No. Is your husband aware that you were sleeping with his late younger brother? What? But you don't even know my late younger brother. <laughs> How would you know about that? Coxie. Coxie! She told me she came visiting one fateful day. Your late brother in bed with your wife. Your late brother was having a secret affair with her. Who are you? I... Just when I thought I have had enough for today. Oh, 
Darling, she has a knife. She has a knife. Honey, 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 please calm down. Honey, please calm down. Don't do something you will regret later. What is there to live for? Your children. Yes. This is the time for you to start on a clean slate without any secrets. I just want to die. Oh, yes. Yes. A little. Why? You, you caused that? How can you hate someone without a cause? The day my husband and I moved in here, I saw the way you looked at us. I didn't even know you. Why do you hate me so much? Jealousy. What do you mean jealousy? That's ridiculous. What do you have that we can't afford? This! And that is what I have, and that is why she's jealous! How am I help you? I'm um, Clue. Cleopatra. Your neighbor. I live in the other flat. Okay. Can I come in? You're in already. Sorry for looking indecent. I was about having my shower. Oh, please. Cleo. Tell me it is not true. Cleo, tell me. Tell me it's not true. I'm dying. What? Cancer. Hey. And for how long have you known this? For a while now. Trying so hard to keep it Everybody has a story Everybody
everybody has a flaw They've been trying so hard to cover it up What do you stand to gain Hiding all your flaws Someday the truth will rise Exposing all the lies Nobody's perfect Everybody knows But building on the lies Is something I will never do Tell me truth I want to know Believing in the dark for way too long What is the truth Let me know it right now Before it's too late Please tell me the truth Let me know Everybody loves to pretend Nobody knows the truth I cannot understand it Trying to protect your ego And trying to protect your pride You can do anything to cover it up But what do you stand to gain? Hiding all your flaws Someday the truth will rise, exposing all the lies. Nobody's perfect, everybody knows. But building on the lies is something I will never do. Tell me the truth.